Hello students, welcome again. Today we will begin with our second chapter in English. So before beginning with it, let me have a short discussion with you. Do you think that being lazy is good? Or do you think that a successful person achieves everything by doing nothing? No, right? We need to write our own destiny by working hard. And by believing in ourselves. So my dear students, let's begin with the story of Dick Whittington and his cat. Let us first read the story together. There was once a poor boy called Dick Whittington, who lived in a small village in the south of England. He had no proper home, for both his parents had died and he was unkindly treated by many of the villagers. One day, Dick overheard someone say that the streets of London were paved with gold, and he decided that he would go there at once and pick his fortune up in gold pieces from the streets. For he thought people might treat him more kindly if he were rich. So young Dick set out to walk to London. He had not gone far when a man in a cart stopped and asked him if he was running away from home. I have no home, Dick answered. I am on my way to London to find my fortune. I am going to London myself, said the carter. Jump up here beside me and we will journey together. So children, I'll explain this part to you. Once upon a time, there was a poor boy whose name was Dick Weddington, who lived in a small village of south of England. He had no proper house and he had lost his parents when he was a small child. All villagers treated him very badly because he was very poor. Dick felt very bad about it. One day, he heard from someone that London had a lot of gold, so he decided to go there. While walking, a man who was riding a cart asked Dick whether he was running away from home. So Dick answered that he had no house to run from and that he was going to London to change his life. So the man asked him to sit in the horse cart because he too was travelling to London. So children, let's read the further part of the story. They arrived in London just before nightfall and the carter left Dick and made his way to an inn. Poor Dick stood alone and looked around him in dismay. Where was all that fine gold? All he could see were dirty streets and lots of unfriendly people. He had nowhere to sleep and in the end he spent the night in the corner of an alleyway where he hoped he would come to no harm. The next morning Dick woke up cold, miserable and very hungry. He wandered around begging for food. But again and again, people shouted at him. Go away, you lazy fellow. Be off with you. And aimed angry blows at his head. At last, he collapsed in the street and lay there. Too weak to look further for food. By chance, Dick had fallen in front of a house belonging to a rich merchant called Mr. Fitzwarren. The cook was trying to drive Dick away when Mr. Fitzwarren returned home from inspecting his ships. He stopped and said to Dick, Why don't you work if you need food? I would work, Dick said, but I know nobody who will give me anything to do. So children, we'll start with the explanation. They reached London just before sunset 
and the man on the cart left Dick on the road by himself. And the carter went into a hotel. So now poor Dick did not know what had to be done. He looked very sad because he couldn't see any gold and the people around also were very bad and they treated him also very badly. He had no place to sleep. That night he slept in a corner in between two buildings. The next morning as Dick woke up he was feeling very hungry. He started begging for food but people shouted at him and shooed him away. He kept walking but as he felt very weak he fell down but luckily he fell in front of a house which belonged to a merchant named Mr. Fitzwarren. Their cook who noticed him started driving Dick away but by then Mr. Fitzwarren returned home. He stopped and asked Dick that why he did not do any work if he needed food. So Dick answered him telling that he would love to work but no one offered him any work because he did not know anyone in London. Children, let's read the further part of the story. Take him into the kitchen, Mr. Fitzwarren ordered the cook. Feed him first and then find some work for him. So Dick was given a home and a living. He had a small corner of the attic to sleep in and his job was to help the cook with all the pots and pans in the kitchen. Dick's life should have been much better than before. But he still had two difficulties to face. The first was that the attic he slept in was overrun by rats and mice. At night, they scampered all over him and kept him awake. After a time, he solved his problem by saving the few pennies he was paid and by buying himself a cat. In no time at all, the cat chased away all the rats and mice and Dick was able to sleep peacefully. The other difficulty which was not so easy to overcome was the cook's bad temper. She shouted and screamed all day and would scold Dick and hit him with a wooden spoon, even when he was working as hard as he could. So I'll start with the explanation here. So Mr. Fritz Warren ordered his cook to give him some food first and find some work for him in the house itself. So my dear children, Dick was now finally in a good condition. He had a place to stay and he was given the work of washing utensils. But still he had two problems which he had to solve. Dick was told to sleep in an attic, which is a small room in a pointed roof. There were so many rats there that he couldn't sleep well. But he solved this first problem by purchasing a cat with the money that he earned. The first, the cat was also very good at catching the rats. So Dick solved his first problem. The second problem was much more tough than the first one. The problem was with the cook who used to always shout at Dick even when he obeyed and did all the work. Children, now let's read ahead. One night, Dick decided he could stand it no more. Early next morning, before the cook was up, he set out with his cat to seek his fortune somewhere else. The two of them walked as far as Holloway on their way out of London. Then Dick sat down on a stone to rest. It was the 1st of November, All Saints Day, and the church bells were ringing, 
as dick sat and listened it seemed they were ringing out a message for him turn again whittington thou worthy citizen lord mayor of london lord mayor of london dick said i should like to be lord mayor and ride in a fine coach i can put up with a few scoldings from the cook if that is what is in store for me so dick and his cat retraced their steps to mr fritz warren's house luckily they were able to slip back before they had been missed now mr fritz warren used to send ships far across the sea to trade with other countries he would load a ship with goods for the captain and ship's crew to sell in far away places and then they would bring back goods that would be sold at home so let's start with the explanation one night dick decided that he cannot suffer any more the next morning even before the cook woke up he left the house went out of the house in search of a new place and job with his cat the two of them walked as far as holloway on their way out of london dick sat down on a stone as he was very tired it was 1st november that is all saints day so the bells rang from a nearby church as the bells were ringing dick heard some message along with the bells the message was turn again whittington thou worthy citizen lord mayor of london the message here asks dick to turn around and get back as he would be the future mayor of london so dick understood the message and thought to himself that he faced a lot of problems in the past that this problem is very small he decided to go back luckily he reached mr fitz warren's house even before anyone could wake up my dear children mr fitz warren was a merchant so he used to trade with other countries he would load many goods and send it to other places to sell it so children we will stop here for today the next part of the story will be explained to you in the next video let's have some revision of the above story that we learned today we understood today the first question is what innocent belief made dick decide to go to london children he decided to go to london because he heard that there was gold and if he went there then he could change his life the second question is what hardships did he face on arriving in london on arriving london dick faced the same problems of hunger poverty and bad behavior by people how did the cat prove to be very useful the cat proved to be useful by catching all the mouses and helping dick to solve his first problem of mice okay children here we end for today i'll see you in the next video take care